this red ear slider came in about four days ago with a complaint of that of not eating and swollen eyes. So it's been hospitalized for five days. And uh, overall it looks good. We are throwing five pellets now this morning and uh, I'm trying the video to see whether the slider eats the pellets or not. It's not that hungry. And uh, the eyes are opened. But we know from from last few days that he had been eating. Let me see one, two, three, four, five pellets still untouched. Let's put it down this way, sideways. Yeah, suddenly his eyes are opened. And it's quite active here. Yeah. Let's see again. No interest in appetite, no interest in eating. But eyes are open and alert and not swollen. Some some red ear sliders eat slowly as they are not that hungry. I'm just trying to find out whether he eats or not. Let's see. Okay, there's a proof. It does eat him. Yeah. It does eat, so he goes home today. And uh, takes time to recuperate. Now what causes his lack of appetite and swollen eyes is hard to tell, but one reason could be the water is, is not uh, clean. The other reason could be a lack of vitamin A. Well, this, this shows that he's eating this video on day 5 of inpatient at Tuapaya Vets. And the eyes are no, not swollen, so he can go home. And uh, the family has to be careful about the hygiene and water quality. So normally these small ones are kept in tanks, small tanks, and the tank must be cleaned daily, water must be changed daily, don't throw too much in. These pellets are okay for them, these are the commercial pellets for red ear sliders. Wow, now he has a good appetite. You can see that it's really good to uh, video, video him eating. Now there's a sunlight here. They need sunlight at least two hours a day for the vitamin D and uh, wow, the t and the shell. The shell is quite okay now, as you can see. So this confirms that uh, the red ear slider has recovered fully. I shall stop videoing now. Topaya Vets, July 12, 2018. Swollen eyes and not eating for over a week. This is one of the most common complaints 
of the youngest red ear sliders in Singapore. Treatment is by oral medication and eye drops and change of quality of water as well as sunlight. When they are treated early, chances of recovery are excellent. If the owner delays for one month or more, it's very hard to recover. So I shall stop now. Top Fire Vets, July 12, 2018, Singapore.